Hello, everybody, and welcome to my one-man podcast. <laughs> I call this series Let's Talk Salsa. I don't do them very often. This is actually the fourth video in the past over half a year. So I'm just, because my channel is about salsa and bachata, and you want to see moves and all that, but I think there are some things that are very important that we need to discuss. And some of the questions that you do, I cannot answer them, not because of time most of the times, but because it will take a big, long ass answer to do that. Uh, hi, my name is Alexanos. I come from the island of Cyprus. This is my YouTube channel, Salsa and Bachada Moves. And I like to do this kind of uh, Let's Talk Salsa series. Uh, this is very similar to the first video, uh, which I'm going to have it here. If you want a further explanation of what is that one thing that can make you a better partner. And you're like, wait a second, I need to improve my handhold. I need to improve my lead. I need to be softer. I need to be harder. All these things will come into place if you do only one thing. And that one thing, the special one thing that I'm going to analyze it in this video. What do I mean? Because I'm not just going to tell you that one thing. It is that when you dance with a lady, yes, you are the leader. She is the follower. She does what you tell her. But I see it as I suggest to her to do that. A 30%, maybe maximum 40% I am leading and the rest is her muscles, her own body weight. I've danced with quite large ladies that they are so light, which I ended up asking them again. So coming on. The one thing that it really matters to be a good leader, it is to follow the lady. All right. Follow the lady. What does that mean? Okay. Let's take, for example, her level. You have to come to a point where you understand the level of the lady. Once you grab her, you're going to dance with her and do a crossbody lead with a turn and see how she balances. Let her turn by herself by a push. Do the basics. See how good she holds the rhythm. Find out her level. Beginner, improver, intermediate, advanced. And dance at that level, please. And to make it a little bit excitement, don't forget this side note. It's very important. Don't keep her in that level. Push her just half or one step higher from her level, from her comfort zone. So she will feel comfortable. Number one, following the lady is to actually take in your mind what is her level and don't push her or else she's going to go back to her friends and say that was a nightmare. She was, he was pulling me left and right, trying to do his good things, his combinations. Uh, he was letting me go. Imagine you have a lady that you know she knows only two basic. She's a beginner. She doesn't have any footwork in her repertoire and you let her go so you can do your stuff and she's just standing there going, that will be a very bad experience. Okay? So in this coronavirus, remember these things. I'm going to have a few more. I'm doing to my left my eyes because I have some notes there, bullet points. Let's say I have a lady that I do a crossbody lead with a turn and she off balances to the right. Now, when I'm in the class, I stay where I am and I let the lady stay on my right and tell her, you see, you've done a wrong step. Let's fix it. Let's see which one of the steps makes you move to the right and not in front of me as you should. But in the social world, when a lady goes a little bit to the right, when a lady moves somewhere other than where you want her, you say nothing and you just move your foot a little bit. You move your leg a little bit into her direction and you continue as if nothing has happened. Because if this happens once or even twice or three times and you just keep on pulling the lady to come in front, she will feel that resistance and she will feel bad like, what did I do? I mean, okay, I'm a beginner. Or even if, uh, if you do this to an advanced one, which will happen, they will lose their balance. You should be there to pick them up. Don't let them feel their mistake. Just make them uh, oblivious to it. That's going to make them feel nice that they dance with you. Now, let's continue to another bullet point. Move does not go through, don't go with it. Okay, maybe <laughs> you don't understand this, but I do. Many of us go to a dance school and we learn a combination. And maybe it's intermediate level, let's say. And I go out and I'm, I'm really excited to do that combination and I practice it all night. But which, with which ladies do you practice? 
Are you doing an intermediate move to a lady that you know her level is not up to it? Are you, are you pulling it? Yes, it's good to have resistance and pull and give push, but only when the lady can handle it. If I dance with my partner and I give her a push on five, six, seven, she will execute with all the power I give her three progressional spins and boom, finish. If I take a beginner girl and I give her all that power that I give to my partner, she's just going to fall on the ground. So when you're going out and you have a lady that's not up to your combination that you really want to do, please do not do it. Just hang in there until you find another partner, which is a higher level, and keep the lady satisfied. Don't push her. Uh, for example, she falls off balance halfway through the move, but no, you want to, you know, do it. Um, you have to adapt at that moment. Bam, bam. Just change the move from that direction. And you're like, why should I do that? To be a good partner. To make the lady not feel that, oh, I just ruined the move and it's my fault. That's what I mean, always following the lady, caring about our lady. The next bullet point, don't worry, it's only two, three left, but they're very good, I think. Keep her on the beat without showing it. Well, that's very important. I'll give you a small example. The lady gets off the beat, and then you completely stop dancing, you counter in, and you start. That is just so obvious. And the lady also feels that there is people around, and you're just telling her, like a teacher, five, six, seven, let's go. What I like to do is just bring her close to me, fuck the beat, <laughs> and just move with her, do a body wave, keep listening to the music, and when the one comes, I continue. So I take that opportunity to do some pump and grind or having some little uh, isolations, and that makes the lady happy as well, That because she's not uh, forced to follow, she's not forced to do something by herself, she just hugs with me and solos with me and then goes back to the basics. She has no idea she got out of the rhythm because that what I wanted her to believe. Okay, it's, it's nothing bad. I'm not making fun of the lady or anything. And that's the next point, by the way. Uh, I'll get to it in a minute. But I am actually making her feel more comfortable instead of three, four times in the song stopping her and telling her, you did wrong the beat. Let me bring you back in it. All right, so do it invisible. There are many ways you can think of doing that. Okay, be a good leader. The next one is smile, not laugh. Oh, it got me this into many troubles. Sometimes when something goes wrong, which will happen, even if you try your best to do all the things that I said so far and some extra things, you might disconnect. You might uh, lose the lady more down or might, she might go more down or you might not make it on time to cover her mistake. And then you want to look aloof. Relax, no problem, just smile. And and then pick up the lady, she will smile back. And it's some of the best moves, actually, I do them by accident when the lady does a mistake. Well, not the best moves, but some of them are best moves. It's amazing from the mistakes what we can have, so you can see the positive of that. Now, why not laugh? Because when you <laughs> loudly, it's like you're making fun of the lady. Sometimes I feel so... Um, uh, entertained with the idea that something goes wrong, that I like to push my brain to find a solution. So I do enjoy dancing, uh, instead of advanced ladies, which I do enjoy as well, I do enjoy dancing with a lower level improver beginner, so I can actually become a better leader and learn more variations to do things. All right, so uh, you don't also want the lady to misunderstand that you're making fun of her. This happened to me, I laughed and she's like, are you laughing at me? No, 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 I'm just smiling. But I was actually laughing, so I changed it into smiling. Now, the next point that I like, uh, the next point that I really like, and it's gonna be the last one, guys, um, you want to stop talking when you're dancing. And I'm not talking about leaning over and say, you're a great dancer, do that. Or she leans over and she says, uh, let's try that move we did yesterday if you're friends and you know it. Uh, talk about that. But I'm talking about the boys. The girls don't do it so much. Maybe one out of a thousand. But the guys, they always do this. They say to the lady, do a turn. No, here you had to stop. Give me your other hand. When you do that, it's like you're telling the lady every time you're doing a mistake, do it like that. 
do it like that. You have no right to talk to the lady and explain her what to do. Uh, even if she's a beginner and you do know more things because you are not in her position to follow. It's a completely different monster to follow and lead. They're both as difficult, but I did my exams on all of my dances, five different sport dances and salsa. Uh, as a man, choreography with a lady, and then I did everything as a lady with a man dancing it. So it's two different monsters. Do not compare. And... Uh, even I, as a teacher for the past 20, 22 years, I still don't remember when I leaned over and said to the lady, you lost your balance or don't do this or don't do that. These and this, the body, these are the ones that do the talking when we dance. All right. There's nothing wrong about talking and making a joke or telling her you look lovely tonight over the ear. That's cool. But don't break uh, the glass between you two and your chemistry by telling her of what to do. All right. And to finish it off is that that is it. Our priority is not us looking good and trying to make our combinations. It's the lady looking good. And the only way the lady looks good if is we give enough pressure, not too much according to her level and all the other things I mentioned before. So this one magic thing, think about it, guys. I'm a leader and I say, I do not lead, I follow. Yeah, I lead the moves, but if something goes wrong or if something goes in left or right or uh, something I want to fix about her, I'm gonna close my mouth and just dance because social dancing is about getting experience dancing and not getting blah, blah, blah. Imagine one girl that's in beginner improver and she gets that from 10 dances, 10 different guys telling her off. Is that going to make her continue salsa? Is that going to keep her into our society, a beautiful, beautiful, lovable society that we are? I've been to all over the countries and almost 95% all the salseros are the same. Great people, talkative people, smiley, and they just want one thing, to dance and get better. That's it. I hope you guys like it, guys. This is Let's Talk Salsa series. If you like, leave in the comments below other questions you may have so I can make videos like this. And then you can also get my opinion because salsa is not just a dance. It's a social experience. And for all of us to be social in each different environment, we have to know some things. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a like, subscribe, and check out the rest of the 700 videos I've uploaded up to now. I've uploaded by now, 2021, January, and we have 700 videos. I'm very proud of them. And uh, I'm just going to keep up, uh, keep on uploading until I get also a very, very good camera. This is my mobile. If you like to help, link in the description for donation through PayPal. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.